Are you a Hollywood fan? Do you love watching American web series or movies or talk shows? Do you enjoy them? Well, I'm sure you do because most of us just love watching them. And because we see so many sort of Hollywood movies or American web series or talk shows or stuff like that, definitely we all love to sound American, don't we? Which is why in this video, we're going to discuss about American slang words for English learners. Well, you all are once again most welcome to Tutorials Point. Let's go ahead and learn about these American slang words, especially if you are an English learner. We all would love to sound so cool, don't we? So let's go ahead. Okay, well, cool is a very, very commonly used word by Americans and they just love to use it almost everywhere, right? So, cool, obviously, the literal meaning, as we all know, is sort of, you know, cold climate. But not only is, is cool used in that sense by um, in, the, in the American language or in the American slang per se, but yes, cool is also used to sort of signify or 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 call someone fantastic or great or not just that cool also is sort of um, when you are um, when you sort of you are agreeing to something or you are acknowledging something that also um, is it, it is during those situations as well that you use cool so well let's go ahead and see some examples which will give you a better clarity okay now, obviously, the literal meaning of cool, as I told you, as we all know, is cold climate or cold. So, how's the weather in Canada these days? It's getting cooler, winter's coming. So, of course, along with the, the, the very basic meaning of cool, as we all know, is cold. And that is also a very important usage of cool. Along with that, what did you think of my new, what do you think of my, uh, my new boyfriend? I like him. He seemed like a cool guy. So, here cool sort of indicates that you are or sort of acknowledging or you're letting them know that they are great or they are fantastic. So this cool signifies or this cool indicates great or fantastic. So that way also, that is also one of the, the context where cool is used. Okay, I'm throwing a party next week for my birthday. Do you want to come? Cool, sure, I'd love to. So cool here is an acknowledgement, right? So along with the, the literal meaning of cool, which is cold, along with that, cool is also used as an acknowledgement. And not only that, it is also used to call anybody or anything great or fantastic. So, well, if you love to sound cool, then start using cool in your language day to day. Okay, beat. Well, what is the literal meaning of beat? We all know that when you are hit by something or someone hits you, it's sort of, it's called as beat. Not only that, music beats as well. Well, in in sort of the American slang, beat is again used for in, in a very, very different manner. Well, beat actually indicates that or beat is used to convey that um, someone is not feeling as fresh or as energetic or someone is very, very tired and completely sapped out of his or her energy. So here, as I already told you, let's look at an example. Do you want to go out tonight? There's a cool new rock bar that just opened. Sorry, I can't. I am beat and I have to wake up early tomorrow. So beat actually in, in the American slang per se means that you are extremely tired and you are drained out of your energy. So that is what is meant by beat. So anybody, if, if someone tells you that I am beat, it means that they are, that person is very, very tired. Let's look at another, at another example. You look beat. What have you been doing? I have been helping my dad in the yard all morning. So again, here it's here also beat signifies that the person is very tired and is completely um, drained of his or her energy. Wheels. Yes, wheels is yet another very, very commonly used American slang and it means a car well we all know what wheels are wheels are as we all know them as tires but in the american slang um, or in the 
sort of most Americans use beat to um, to convey or to to talk about a car, right? So, hey, can you pick me up at three? Sorry, I can't. I don't have my wheels at the moment. So when anybody tells you that he or she doesn't have his or her wheels, well, what that person means is that he or she doesn't have his or her car with him or her, right? So wheels is actually, um, it means car. It means your car. Amped. Well, what is amped? Well, amped is yet another very, very commonly used word or it is again a very commonly used American slang and amped actually means excited. You are completely pumped up. You are very, very enthusiastic about something. You're very excited about. It could be about anything, right? So um, let's look at an example. I can't wait to see Beyonce live. Me too, I'm amped. So when you say I'm amped, you mean that you are very, very excited for that particular thing. Looker, well, what is looker? Well, believe me, if you uh, get to hear this word for yourself, well, just be flattered and be very happy because looker is a compliment um, in the American slang. So looker means someone who looks very good, who looks dashing, amazing, fab, right? So that is what is meant by looker. So next time you get a compliment or you wish to compliment anybody, just use this word. Okay. Have you seen the new history professor yet? No, but I've heard he is a real looker. So real looker means that that person looks amazing and that it's he or she just looks fab, right? So looker is a compliment. You might want to use this or if you get it, well, just be happy. Well, I'm sure all these words will definitely help you a lot. If you wish to use them in your daily language, definitely you will sound much more American and you will sound cool. And I'm sure of that. Well, I'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, keep learning with tutorials point and tutorials. Have a good day.